Hey guys, GT2King here back today with another video and in today's video I'm just going to be talking about my TF2 trading journey, how far I've come and this is just a video I've wanted to make for a really long time but I never really took the time to research and think about where I came from and how I got here so I originally joined Steam on November 24th of 2012 to be able to play with a group of friends I had at school at the time and I'd seen one of my friends play on his laptop and it was the first real game that I had gotten addicted to in a way. So I started downloading it on my computer and I'm telling my friends that you know I'm downloading it if he wants to play and he actually sends me a bunch of just random items including craft hats, refined metal and even some stranges which at the time I didn't even know had value. I just thought there were items you could use in game. So I log on to play and for the first game I joined someone sends me a random trade so I did accept it. This was all on like the 24th of November when I joined. So long story short, I accept a trade just to see what it's like. He was selling two hats and I was pretty interested. There were some really cool hats. I'm guessing he wanted my strange ambassador and to refine which is what my first trade ever was. So the concept in general just seemed really cool and simple and from this point on I would just go into random trading servers and look for really cool hats and items that I just liked and typed in the chat for that person to send me a trade because I wasn't even premium at the time so after a while I started to take things pretty seriously this was like one or two weeks afterwards I saved up some money and picked up a unusual along with TF2 premium on December 6th of 2012 the unusual was pretty interesting it was an unusual shooter sola toppy I think it's called and it even had lime paint on it but I sold it for 30 refined metal the next day so you may think like dang you got scammed but at the time, if you really think about it, keys were one tenth of the price they are now. Meaning I got just about 10 keys, which seems like it would be full price because the price hasn't really changed and not too many of those unusuals get unboxed anymore. So it was a really good deal for me then, but I just didn't know it. With that refined metal, I actually bought some keys and I just kept trading, getting random items until I moved into a completely untapped market. There was literally no one trading here, maybe just a few really big sellers which I bought from and it was game trading where I would buy like $20 games for one to two keys because they were really old maybe like 2010 ish I'm guessing at the time and people would overpay with TF2 items and I would just resell all those items for pure and just restart the whole process over and over again and it was really profitable and I made a ton of profit at the time so I think I did get scammed one or two times I did find some trades but there's no point in showing them where I lost like all of my items in my backpack I don't even remember what happened there but from from what it seems I was just so persistent I kept trading even just random weapons that I got from drops they would build up into keys and then just build up not into unusuals because I really wasn't confident in that field at the time I would really do a lot of game trading so after over a year of trading I didn't even know what backpack.tf was I'd heard of it but I never really got around to seeing what it was and what it does exactly and the only websites I used were tf2 outpost and tf2 trading post for advertising and all of my pricing was based on TF2 warehouse which is still around to this day it's the exact same concept not too many people know about them not too many people use them but those were like my go-to sites at the time also around that period of time I would watch fun with Smexy and Sheller which were really big TF2 traders at the time. They were the first people to sort of introduce a trading series to TF2 where you would go from something and build up while recording everything so people could just see your progress and it was mainly for entertainment purposes at the time. They did get really good trades done and I remember learning so much from them so I just submerged myself into TF2 trading at this time and with inspiration from them I actually started my first trading series it was two episodes uh, I talked about this in one video but I never really explained what happened so on May 25th I made the first episode of that trading series it was called from nothing to something which was just a copy of another trading series I was watching and I didn't build up too much the video was really bad I'll actually show a clip of it it's pretty funny and embarrassing but this was me at 14 alrighty hello guys um well I'm coming today with this video because I'm planning on starting a from nothing to something series well where 
I'll be trading this key that I just bought for $2.50 and trading up to an unusual promo, anything of that nature. So after the two episodes, I just completely abandoned it in a way. I didn't continue the series, even though I had clips for around three more episodes. I just stopped it because, I don't know, I was really um, self-conscious at the time. It was just really bad. I just deleted everything and I just traded without having to record it. So after about another year of just complete trading, just really learning stuff from experience, I decided to try it again on my main channel, which is this one right now. And on February 10th, 2016, I released my first trading series on this channel. So it really kicked off. It got a lot more views than like all of my other videos. I got really good feedback and that's when my channel started to grow. I had around 200 subscribers at the time and just the thought of recording, it was really fun and it was just really exciting to see my progress and know that in the future I'd be able to watch it again and just see how far I've come. So since it was actually going so well in the summer of 2016 which is just a few months after I actually cashed out my for the first time through PayPal and I decided to buy a computer. So I bought the parts separately and invested a bit extra into every single part just with the expense of not getting a graphics card. So the computer came had all the parts and everything I built it but it didn't have a graphics card so it was completely useless to me. I just decided to buy the parts because they were all right there and I did have the PayPal anyways. So I just decided and I told myself that I would buy the computer and just leave it to the side until I have enough to buy a graphics card. After that, I went back to using my laptop just until I could round up enough money to get a dedicated graphics card. So as time went on, I eventually did get that graphics card, but the processor was pretty useless. I actually bought it on accident because I mistook it for another processor, but that was me at 16, which was two years ago. And I went full out trading and I even did some gambling at the time, which was with sweetstakes.tf. And I did make a good amount of money through there. And I also made quite a bit through trading. In 2017, I went full out trading all summer. I even did live trading series last year, which hopefully I'll be doing this summer as well. And that's when things were going so well, I cashed out and and I bought a motherboard, a brand new one, some more RAM, and even a brand new processor, which was like brand new at the time. So the videos were going really well. Now that's basically my story. Nothing's really changed. It's now June of 2018, over a year after this sort of um, cash out. I have cashed out a few more times to just buy some random items. I bought a camera and a brand new phone, but this video wasn't made to just show you guys what I bought. I mean, it's just to show you where I've come from because I really did start with zero experience. I knew nothing about trading and after six years, I'm at the point where I am today. So trading has been my main sort of hobby that I've also made money from for the past six years and it's been really fun. So I do plan on making more trading series, which I'm still really excited for. I still plan to like live stream live trading this summer, but I also want to branch out into other sort of videos and just random interests of mine, which I will. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that it's gonna be coming in the future and I really want to start uploading constantly on this channel again so that was basically my story I'd love to hear your guys's down below and I hope you guys did enjoy have a great day and peace